This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering new features in Final Cut Pro 10.8. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. HDR is quickly transforming from the video format of the future into the video format of today. Now I want to talk about how to work with iPhone HDR media inside Final Cut. This came out of a question that I got from a reader, and he was trying to figure out how to edit HDR video in an SDR timeline. And I realized there's really two options here. We can edit HDR media in an HDR timeline or HDR media in an SDR timeline. And I wanted to show you how to do both because it's worth knowing, especially since every iPhone from iPhone 12 on shoots HDR media. So let me show you how this works. I'm grateful to Andy Wilson for both asking the question and providing the footage. Here's what we want to do if we're working with HDR media in an HDR project. First thing you do is select the library. With the library selected, go over to Library Properties and click Modify, and make sure that you set this to Wide Gamut HDR. Wide Gamut HDR makes Final Cut aware of the additional video settings inside an HDR clip. So we have to do that to the library first. Then, inside the project, select the project, type Command-J, and go to Modify Project Properties. I'm addicted to keyboard shortcuts, so if you have trouble remembering Command-J, you can get to Project Properties by going to the Window menu and going down to Project Properties, and it reminds you that it's Command-J. When you open up Project Properties, click Modify. And that shows the display that you get whenever you have a new project. And notice this setting. When you're working with iPhone video, you always want to set it to Wide Gamut HDR 2020 HLG. The iPhone only shoots HLG video. And click OK. Now, we are looking at HDR video inside an HDR project inside an HDR library. Keep in mind that you cannot actually view HDR on your computer monitor unless you've got the high-end $5,000 Apple monitor. HDR requires an HDR monitor. So it's tone mapping. It's giving us an approximate SDR image when working with HDR media. However, we can, we can use the scopes. And notice that with our scopes, turn off the title for a second, with our scopes, the scope goes from 0% to 100%. The nice thing about HLG Media is that it uses the same range, 0 to 100, that SDR does. PQ goes from 0 to 10,000. HLG is much more compatible with formats that we use for broadcast. And I think over the long term, HLG will probably be the format that wins out any HDR battle, except for certain specialized circumstances. So when you're shading this, you shade this the exact same way you shade anything else. You adjust highlights and midtones and shadows, but when you see it on an HDR monitor, it's going to be a whole lot brighter, a whole lot richer, and it's going to have blues and greens you just can't see in SDR. So we're ready to now start color grading that video. If we switch back to an SDR project, now we're in an SDR project. As before, you go to the library. Whenever you're integrating HDR media, select the library, go to Library Properties, and always make sure Wide Gamut HDR is turned on. I find I get better results if I set this to Wide Gamut HDR because it knows how to work with HDR media then. Then you go select the project, Command-J, or go to the Window menu and click Modify, and you select the, the Rec. 709 color space. 709 is for HD, 2020 HLG is for HDR. So we select 709 and click OK. And this is an HDR clip in an SDR timeline. And what's new that we need to pay attention to is here in the Video Inspector. At the very bottom is a new setting that showed up recently called Color Conform. Rather than the old HDR tools, which still works, but color conform is better, it's converting the color space automatically or manually from SDR to HDR or HDR to, to SDR 
So what I've done is I want to manually select that I want this HLG video to be converted to SDR. So I save that. You can set it to automatic and notice when you do, it's doing the same conversion. But sometimes I like to use manual to make sure it's all set. Remember, iPhone is always HLG. Remember, I can grade SDR on a computer monitor. I cannot great HDR on a computer monitor, and SDR will never look the same as HDR. SDR won't look as bright, it won't look as contrasty, it won't look as saturated, it won't display all the colors. You cannot get SDR to look like HDR, that's why HDR was invented. But you can get it to look close, and you get it to look close by following these steps. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing new features in Final Cut Pro 10.8. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 366. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.